Anne Bishop, biologist, while working towards her doctorate, Bishop studied parasitic amoebae and examined potential chemotherapies for the treatment of amoebic diseases including amoebic dysentery. Elected to the Royal Society in 1959, Bishop was the founder of the British Society for Parasitology and served on the World Health Organization's Malaria Committee. Though Bishop intended to study chemistry, her lack of education in physics meant that she could not pursue her preferred course in the Honours School of Chemistry. During her undergraduate years, under the tutelage of the helminthologist R.A. Wardle and the protozoologist Geoffrey Lopage, Bishop studied ciliates acquired from local ponds. Bishop's undergraduate work with Hickson was her first major research effort, concerning the reproduction of Spirostomum ambiguum, a large ciliate that has been described as worm-like. In 1923, while working at Manchester University, Bishop was appointed an honorary research fellow. There, Bishop continued her work with Spirostomum as the only protozoologist on the faculty. Under Doble, Bishop studied parasitic amoebae found in the human gastrointestinal tract, focusing on the species responsible for amoebic dysentery, Antamoeba histolytica. Bishop's work evolved to include studies of drug resistance in both the parasites and the host organisms, the studies that would earn her a place in the Royal Society. In 1992, the British Society for Parasitology created a grant in Bishop's name, the Anne Bishop Travelling Award to aid young parasitologists in traveling for field work where their parasites of interest are endemic. Bishop, Anne, McConaughey, Elspeth W. Resistance to Sulfadiazine and Paladrine in the Malaria Parasite of the Fowl. Bishop, Anne, McConaughey, Elspeth W. A study of the factors affecting the emergence of the gametocytes of Plasmodium gallinaceum from the erythrocytes and the ex-flagellation of the male gametocytes. 6893C9A3-09.